I joined the Air Force for the education benefits. To be honest, grew up poor. I mean, I had scholarships for music and I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and the Air Force just looked like the best option for me. So yeah, I really just joined to really travel because I grew up in a small town in Texas. So that's why I joined the Air Force. I am no longer in the Air Force, hence why I have a hand tattoo in case anybody wants to ask. I've been out of the Air Force for um, about eight months now, but I was in the Air Force for six years and I got out as an E-4, a senior airman. The name of the job I was in was Knowledge Operations Management and the AFSC was a 3D0X1. So when I went into the DEP, I originally was going in as open admin, but some things went down with my family and I switched with someone last minute and I went in as knowledge operations and management, which is this job I'm interviewing with. So yes, I went in with this job, so yeah. No, it was not something that I wanted to do. I'm a very optimistic person. I take on the challenges. I learn to adapt to my surroundings and whatnot, but um, it's not what we are supposed to be doing in this career field at all. So no, it's not something that I wanted to do at all. I really wanted to do something in the medical career field. However, the wait list was just so long, it would have been like another year of me being in the depth and that was something that I was not wanting to do. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do in the medical career field, I just wanted to do something in the medical career field. I mean, I guess it worked out. I signed a six year contract. My tech school was in Biloxi, Mississippi. It was at Keesler Air Force Base. At the time, seven years ago, when I went through tech school, seven, eight years ago, it was about three months, I believe, was the average tech school time for knowledge operations management. Tech school was fun for me. It allowed me to really kind of experience that college lifestyle because I did join at the young age of 18. It wasn't too bad. We did have a lot of tests in a short span of time since our tech school was so short. It was nice as well because we didn't, we weren't there for an extended amount of time like other comm based career fields like cyber transport all of those other ones but it wasn't bad we were in a nice location you had um biloxi right outside of the air force base there was stuff to do the food was good the defect was good i like the salad bar it wasn't a bad area if you watch any other video you can figure out tech school stories but it wasn't a bad experience it was basic tech school experience it was good One good thing about being a knowledge operations manager is that when it comes to being stationed at a base, you pretty much have free reign on what base you can go to. There's not really many restrictions because as a knowledge operations manager, you can pretty much work anywhere because they have a lot of spots open at the base. As a knowledge operations manager, you are in the comm crew field. However, you are not working on computers as a whole like a no normal comm person would. You are primarily dealing with records management, so you are storing records, important records. You are dealing with SharePoint, which is a website on a computer which you store documents. You don't store documents, however. You build programs for units in the Air Force and you maintain them and you are basically, to put it, the boss of them. So people in the units come to you for guidance so you really have to learn the in and outs you have a set guidelines of what you're supposed to do as a knowledge operations manager however leadership doesn't really make you do those things you're doing things outside of your career field which is something that i didn't agree with because you don't we weren't given the proper training to do those as a knowledge operations manager you have different things that you do in your career field 
It's not a hard career field, however, it's very tedious at times. As a knowledge operations manager, you work a normal 7.30 to 4.30 shift. You don't work weekends, you don't work holidays. It's just a normal 7.30 to 4.30 shift. You usually get off early on Fridays and you get holidays off. It's your normal Monday through Friday. As a knowledge operations manager, you don't earn a lot of certs, but I did a lot of SharePoint training while I was in because I was at a base that required it. Um, but I did a lot of SharePoint training. And so those certifications transferred out. And so I could go and use those as a spin on in the civilian sector. Um, but now that I'm a civilian, I can speak from a personal standpoint. In my tech school, I learned, a, I earned quite a few credits. And so now I transfer my CCAF to my college. And I want to say I like 38 of those credits transferred towards my associates or my bachelor's degree. So that was pretty cool. So a lot of those credits transferred. And if I was going towards a computer based degree, all of those would have transferred towards my degree. Deployment tempo average. My job is kind of in the middle for deploying. It's mainly in the guard and reserves that deploy a lot in this job that I've noticed. I never deployed in my six years. I was tasked to deploy after I was pregnant and I could not deploy due to my wisdom teeth needed to get taken out. Not that many people deploy in my career field. If you are looking for a job that is easy, that has good hours, that you can see your family, you can easily take leave with, this is the job for you. I didn't have any complaints with this job, minus the fact that we never really did things inside of our career field. I was always having to learn something new, which to me, I didn't really have a problem with that. It, I was always staying busy, which I liked. Made the day go by quick. Um, I got to travel with this job. I was able to go to all these different bases. I was stationed in Germany for three and a half years. Um, a lot of people that I know, they stayed at one base their entire enlistment for six years. Me, I was at my third base by the time I hit four and a half years. So that's just something to keep in mind. This is a good job to go into if you're looking for those things. Some advice I would give to a new airman coming in the Air Force would just be keep up on your PT standards. That is something that the Air Force is becoming very strict on right now is PT standards. Don't eat like crap. Work out. And also just be careful who you trust. Um, don't confide in people that you don't really know. That's something that's very hard to do, especially being young and being new, is just try trying to find people that you get along with just... I'm just going to say it. Be careful who you trust because they will be quick to burn you. And I'm speaking from experience. The Air Force was fun. I will say that I don't miss it. There are many things that I do not like about the Air Force. However, I'm very grateful that I was able to serve. Um, I'm very grateful for my benefits now that I'm out. Um, and I'm grateful that I was just able to for everything that it has given me, those are the main things. PT, keep up on your PT, be careful who you trust, and just don't be a dirtbag. Don't be a dirtbag. Um, if you want to follow me, my Instagram is I-R-Y-L-I-E, and my Twitter is I-R-Y-L-I-E.